Tiff, I promised you something very special today. What do you think? I know you must have driven one before. No, you really? see, this is the amazing thing that the motto's been out for about seven years now and I've never driven one, so this is brilliant. But, but don't they look stunning? It eh? looks incredible and the closer you look, the detail is just incredible. Little, little headlights. And the engine there, what, is a four-cylinder? It's a uh, two and a half litre four-cylinder, naturally aspirated mountain engine now. So it's a little bit different. 310 horsepower there or thereabouts. 310 horsepower. What, what do they th weigh then, the light? Well, that's what it's all about. 580 kilograms, but it's all about the power to weigh. The power to weigh is about 525, which is the same really as like a Veyron or a P1. Look at this detail, a little push rod suspension down there. Only problem, only one seat though, Paul. That is, you know, if you're not noticed, you know. You we can't both drive it. Well, you are the designated driver, but we have thought of everything today. Come and have a look in here. Hurrah! Well, this little production line. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Get over there, have a look at this. It's nothing. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> and here's that Mount Tune engine then. Ah, oh, it looks amazing. Look, look at that. Well, everything going on, there's so much packaging, amazing packaging to get everything in. Are you going to fit in there at your age? <laughs> <laughs> you can see the production as it goes along and then it sort of trundles over here. So this is an almost completed car. That's Neil Bruce. That's Neil that Bossman. Hello, Hello Morty. Yeah. How are we? <laughs> very okay. good, yeah, very good. And then here it is, all this amazing carbon fibre bodywork. It's plan. incredible. Uh, the detail is absolutely amazing. And you're not wrong, there's only one seat here. But, Tiff. Today we thought of everything again. Come on, where are our cars? Two cars, two Take cars. Take me to our cars. Come on, over here. So we're in a single seater mono, capable of going from naught to 60 in three point whatever seconds, but with a 70, 11 miles an hour down the high street. This is, without any question, the most unusual automotive experience I've ever had in my whole life. It's not the sort of thing you see every day at a pedestrian crossing. But come on, madam, it's green now. Trouble in town centres, it's parking, shopping. The driving position is just so wonderful. It really is sensational, this central driving position that you're just so used to having on a racetrack now on the road. Whilst I'm quite enjoying the view of the high streets, I don't think the motto is quite designed for doing 11 miles an hour. I think we need to get out of town and onto some wonderful country roads. Ah, oh, this looks like the sort of road we need. Up to the hills. driving a car like this that clearly is a racing car on the road, legally. This is absolutely bonkers, absolutely nuts.
would you want to buy the Ferrari for 10 times the money when this is 10 times the fun? Wow, this is, this is absolutely brilliant. circuit what a beautiful beautiful evening and what a fantastically fun car we absolutely love driving these cars on the road and they delivered an experience that's pretty much unrivaled to just about anything else wearing number plates but there was always a sense that their full potential was being unfulfilled here on track though without the worry of traffic or speed limits or kamikaze sheep, we could really appreciate just what the mono was capable of. Ever since the car was invented, it's always been a means of getting from one place to another. But the mono isn't just about going from A to B, it seems the mono has been designed to get you from A to A. Forget the destination, this car is all about unforgettable journeys. You've combed your hair, haven't you? <laughs> you've gone, I, I'm completely exhausted. Let me, hair's gone and you've gone back, haven't you? I'm completely and utterly dishevelled. Come and look at this, Tiff. You're not dishevelled, you've come, done your hair again. Come and look at this. See what? these bugs? See oh, these bugs? bugs? They're in my hair. That's what's in my hair all day. <laughs> what a day, though. What a wow. day. But they're pretty hardcore. I think that's what's shocked me. I think I'd have to get more organised. They're hardcore, tough track weapons. What a lot of fun. Though. You want moulded earpieces? <laughs> yeah, for so sure. Listen yeah. to your iPod. Car to car communications, right? Well, we tried that. It didn't, it wasn't too bad at slower speeds, but as soon as you get up <laughs> sort of over I'd, 50. I don't mind with a little bigger windscreen there. Yeah. A bigger windscreen. I'd have a softer suspension. I'd go more road core than hardcore for Would my you? for my yeah. model. But they're such fun. I mean a grid on my face all day long. Quite literally all day long. Other than I gotta confess, when I was driving down a dual carriageway doing the national speed limit with no helmet on and bugs flying everywhere. That that was a bit that's what hardcore's all about. It's like motorbikes. It's like a pair of <laughs> You, you wear like, a helmet on a motorbike, Tiff. <laughs> I wasn't wearing a helmet. Upgrading from being motorbike cruisers to mono cruisers. So two of us will go around the Alps cruising, talking on radios. The only trouble is I can't afford the £170,000 right now. But I've got an idea. Yep. Got my Formula Ford in the garage. <laughs> I'm going to put I'm gonna put bicycle mudguards on my Formula Ford, get some cycling lamps stuck on front and back, and I'll go out, I can have a, I've got a £30,000 mono then, I can well, go don't cruising. don't quite think it's as easy as that, and I don't think you're going to get anywhere near these cars. They are, they're, that was very special, wasn't it? What a day. That's one of the best days we've had together, I think. Yeah, I'm a bit tired though. What a place to end it. 
Yeah, but my home is five hours away. <laughs> the sun you, said you better get going. I think you better get in your BMW as well, because <sighs> that's not a five hour cruiser. And let me tell you, as fun as it is, you don't want to do five hours now. Let's come on. Have you got any Red Bull? I need something to keep <laughs> me going for the trip home. It's a I'm long not a way. Monster Energy man myself. It's about 250 miles.